Hey guys, what's going on? It's Buddy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lollipop 5.0 update for the Nexus 7 2012 model, because people say that you shouldn't get it on the 2012 model. So, here we have it, Lollipop, the little animation, and then you hold it, and it'll go into this Flappy Bird-like game, and it is actually very hard. Like, but I learned that you have to tap very quickly in order to get through the things, because if you don't, because see, you can keep going up when you hold down the tap, just letting you know. Anyways, so this is the lollipop update, and so it looks actually pretty nice. The icons have changed, like with the calculator, it looks all different. And a cool thing I like about the calculator is that when you add something or multiply, it tells you the answer before you hit enter. And so even if you like add that to like 2 and 3, it'll keep like changing. And then I like the clear all button too. The animations are really nice, but it's the question of can it still run with this kind of update? And so with this update, so you get the whole f one notification drop down. It looks pretty darn nice. And then, uh, and so all the animations are super fluid for most of the time. Mine actually runs pretty darn well. But, in like the battery, the new battery um, menu and stuff is very nice. And the settings, all, all the animations look great. Although I will say that from time to time it does lag a crazy amount and you just have to wait for it to recuperate. There are some features missing such as the app drawer right here. That's missing from the Nexus 5, Nexus 6, and Nexus 9 build because usually it would have this animation that would go off with it. So, but I mean, it, that doesn't really matter that much. The recent apps has like a different hue on it, I realized. Like see, if you can tell, it has a different hue on it from here to here. The image itself gets less sharp, but it also has a strange little hue over it. And I don't know why, but that's not that big of a deal. But so, to like also say some other things, some wanted features that I would like, is to be able to tap on the side and get back to your main menu like in the updates all before this. That would be really useful, but you can't. You have to hit the home button no matter what. All the animations look fluid. I love the new clock. How it's like purple. That's pretty cool. And everything looks pretty... It's pretty smooth and nice for the most parts of the time. Whenever you have app updates, I would suggest never touching the device until all the updates are done because you can't even use it. It's unusable when there's any updates being done by the Play Store. And then the brightness is also different because when you hold it and are adjusting it, it'll show you what it actually looks like on the screen. I would definitely turn off adaptive brightness. Adaptive brightness is completely screwed up. It will dim and brighten like, what are you doing? It's crap. So I would not use the adaptive brightness the battery power saving modes is pretty good, I'd say. I haven't quite used it too much, but it does have this weird orange tint to the status bar and everything. Like, it's so weird. So I don't really use it that much, and I don't feel like I need to. But so, yeah, so see, this is the, like the lag that you'll see sometimes when multiple things are opening. But, like, see it'll lag a little bit. But I mean, the more apps you have, obviously, the more it will run laggy. It'll be way more laggy if you have more apps either opened or just on your device. This device has like 228, I think, when it updated. So this device had a lot, and it still runs pretty decently. There are some times where you just are like, come on, load. But... Overall, I'd say it's a decent update. 
it's most of the time it's actually pretty usable and it's still a pretty enjoyable experience. I love the new multitasking and everything. I will say though on the Nexus 5 it's way more smooth than the Nexus 7 2012 model so you can make your own decision. Overall it won't really affect you if you get it if you get the update or not but if you're like dying to have it you might want to rethink a little bit because you'll get because all the Google installed applications will be different other than like maps anybody can get maps and just like the clock and the calculator and stuff but you can make your own decision I don't really personally have a preference over which one I would get because both of them very pleasurable I would say this one will have more problems than the old software but that's all for this video guys tell me if you got it or not and what you think you should do or just comment but anyways guys that's it for this quick video I will see you guys in the next one